Hello, lovely peeps. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming there'll be more than one person <laughs> watching us. I'm Andrew Bikenia, and I'm here. Why am I here? It's the meaning of life. Well, I'm here from Pops Art, commissioned by the Inner West Council and Edge Newtown. And you're watching me on Bex TV, Pops Art TV. And this is where I get to interview artists people doing art, creating it, spearheading it, uh, supporting it in whatever way they can, uh, particularly with a view to looking at what's going on in the, in the West. And today I am with the wonderful Layla Enright. Layla, as well as being a, a wonderful supporter, is a producer and a dramaturg. And I've chosen that word specifically so we can get a little bit of an insight into exactly what a, drama, a dramaturge does. Because I'm sure you get that question all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, Leila, take it away. A dramaturge, oh. simply, what would you say? Um, so I'm very much in my baby stage of being a dramaturg and I'm learning a lot um, and I'm trying to connect with people who are you know, much more experienced in it. Mm. Um, but essentially, in my mind, what a dramatic does is to establish what a writer wants to do with a play mm -hmm. or with a you know performance art piece and make sure that that intention is manifest through the whole work. And if there's an obstacle or a block or something that isn't clear in a work, they kind of figure out methods of imbuing it back in. So you like help keep the integrity and the intention of yeah, the piece. Exactly. And you're like a midwife in a sense. Yes, you know? yeah, and keeping them the meaning that they want to show the world in there and make sure that meaning is clear. I guess that's really important when you are doing something that is so internal, i.e. Yes. writing. Yes. And once it's out there, it's kind of out there, isn't it? And you don't yeah. have, you either don't have much control or maybe you don't want to have mm. much control. Mm. You want to leave it with the creators. But that said, you want to have somebody that can look after you a bit. Totally, absolutely. And it's very, you know, the best work that's made gets the best people and the most support and the most love, often over an extended period of time to mm. get to that point. So, Inner West and Edge Newtown want me, and I actually want to look as well, at <laughs> creativity in the Inner West and, uh, and how it happens, how it informs an artist's practice, uh, and what is it that is such a fertile kind of um, development ground for it. Now, we, you work in theatre, and although you've got shows in different pockets of Sydney, yeah. I happen to know that Inner West is somewhere, well, we're in the Inner West right now, yeah. you, <laughs> but it's close to your heart. How yes. does it support what you do as an artist? Mm. That's a really good question. I, I think really what it does, and I was having this conversation with someone this morning, mm. my practice as a producer and finding the work that I want to do and put on the stage is very much about seeking out the artists that I'm interested in and figuring out the voices that I'm interested in. And I think the Inner West kind of holds and, um, you know, there's a real artist community in the Inner West and it connects us very quickly and directly and it allows me to have access to exploring those voices in Sydney and exploring, you know, who the people that are out there that are really, really you know, boundary pushing and interesting mm. who I want to kind of go, hey, I love your voice, what are you working on? What do you yeah. want to do? Can I, can I come can to I, you too? Can, <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I use your voice? Can yeah, I, yeah, essentially. Can I jump on board, please? And, and I know you've travelled all over mm. uh, and spent time in London. Yes. Um, would you say that uh, Inner West has a particular uniqueness or are there uh, things about it in what it offers mm. in terms of supporting artists and nurturing artists? that have similarities in, say, uh, London or New York? Mm, that's interesting. I I actually love London when I'm there, partly because of the anonymity of it all. Yeah. Um, and you kind of get to explore particularly the art there. Mm. Uh, and I find it a very singular experience. Like I can go there to explore it by myself. Right. And to have conversations and real um, introspective analyses, I suppose. Yeah. But I think being in Sydney and the Inner West, it's almost the opposite. And it's, it's both of the things I love doing. Mm. But in the Inner West, it's constantly connecting with people. And I think that that's, I think that that's the special thing. That yeah. it's a, you know, it's a hub of people who are interested in the same thing. And there's real 
power and interest to that, I think. Um, and not that lunch wouldn't be for someone who was working full time inside mm. of it. Mm. I'm sure it would be, um, but that's just never been my experience as a human of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the West End! <laughs> so, Leila, you mentioned that you tap into this great well of like, creativity, this mm. great hub. And what I'm wondering is, how do you manage to, uh, with all the changes that are going on mm -hmm. in the inner west and, you know, people who feel that they can't afford to be there for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you know, um, how do you manage to do what you do in the welfare venues across Sydney? Mm -hmm. How do you manage to thrive and how, you know, what do you need to make those decisions happen? Yeah, um, I think what I need as a human is um, oh, honestly people around you who believe in what you're doing, mm. and I think that that's the same for every single every single artist that I know. Mm. And I think with gentrification and with um, also the challenges that we're having in the art sector at the moment, particularly in regards to funding, we're needing to get a hell of a lot more creative about mm. the way we support work mm. and the way we get it on. Um, and the way it's even given space to incubate and develop, we have to be much more creative and it's often horribly relying on people and them doing favours and us doing favours and making sure in some way that it's reciprocal. So it's, you know, holding each other and making sure that we're, um, we're there for each other in a, um, yeah, in a reciprocal, in a reciprocal way because that's, everything else has seemed to abandon us a little bit. Sure. So it's really important that we hold each other. And I, 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 you're exactly right. It is about that support and that mentorship. And For sure. um, I guess, you know, ironically, we're in a digital forum. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, the power that we have beyond that as humans. Yes. I think yeah. that we, I think there isn't enough value, particularly in a kind of Western capitalist culture given to innate other qualities that people can give a project. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah sometimes you have conversations where it's like oh where's the money or where's the without actually valuing and um, drawing on other aspects of people and what they can bring to things um, yeah I don't think that makes any sense but I know I think so <laughs> yeah I think totally it's like coming out of technology looking at the uh, intrinsic value of artists yes and what they and what they give sometimes you cannot even for want of a better word, value mm, it mm -hmm. enough, you know, it's, it's yeah. a priceless thing. Absolutely, you know? yes, uh, yes. And yet, you know, it's something which is essential. We know it's essential because when we don't have it in our lives, mm. it's, a, it's a massive vacuum. Yes. You know, you only need to go to places where they've ne not had any type of art at all. Mm -hmm. And just little inroads, whether it's an orchestra or it's a performance, mm. or whether it's street art, the yes. way it can... You know, you look at uh, the orchestras in um, Bolivia and mm. El Sistema, how art manages to lift people in communities. You know? Yes, so. I think that's really, for me, I, I've had this conversation a lot with um, my family in particular about mm. kind of, you know, making a case for why art is so important. And the term that I've kind of come up with, I'm sure other people use it as well, is that art is thought infrastructure. And for it, infrastructure. Yeah, mm. and so, you know, we, we give money to, you know, roads and we give money to hospitals and education, all the other things that keep society going. Mm. And in order for us to progress as a world, we need that reference point and that thought infrastructure around who we should be as humans and how we should treat one another. And also for me, that that's one of the reasons why I do what I do, but also I very selfishly thrive off being in an artistic community because it, um, for me, and I'm coming from a very privileged position, but yeah. it's a very accepting, um, loving community, you mm. know, and I work with a no asshole policy, well I've tried to, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very yeah, lucky yeah. in that as well, but mm. yeah, for me it's the double thing, it's the thought of infrastructure and this sense of um, being very seen. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, and valued for your sense of self and what you bring mm. to a project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Leila, you basically, together with some very energetic, talented individuals, are the force 
combined forces behind the Green Door Theatre Company. Yes. Right? And yes. so I've been lucky enough to see some really outstanding, thought provoking, uh, representative work of mm -hmm. all these different voices, um, particularly from the inner west, but not exclusive to. Mm. Um, and plays featuring a wide range of talent from new emerging. Uh, mm -hmm. Actors, performers, and writers to you know the Lex Marinos yeah. and uh, yeah, established yeah. Uh, artisans. I've been how, really lucky. You, it's amazing. Uh, how can people find out about what you're doing? Do you have any projects coming up at the moment? Yes, we do. I can't. I've got uh, I think four projects happening already in 2020. Um, I can't talk about them any right. of them yet. Can they follow you to find yes. out? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, Green Door Theatre Co. is the handle. The I don't handle. Know these things. Yeah, I don't, the I don't understand. The handle. Yeah. Like green that. Door. Like the handle. Yeah. <laughs> the handle of the Green Door. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um,